What's happening? It's Jason from Thrift Hunters and Thrifting with the Boys and wanted to uh, do a little video about the CDs I bought in the last episode of Thrift Hunters, our season finale craft dinner. Uh, buying CDs or LPs in a lot is uh, a great thing if you have the time to break it down and sell them individually. And usually every week we put up a listing showing everything that we sold uh, or bought and sold on the show. And this was such a big collection, I thought I'd do a quick video to, to give you a breakdown on how to... Uh, maximize your sales and your profit from a big collection. So in that episode, I bought 750 CDs. You, when you get a big collection, you break them down into three lots. The good, the crummy, and then the middle of the road. So the good, of course, you want to focus on, get your high prices on them, get them listed. The middle of the road is going to be your kind of uh, bread and butter, just, just fills in the uh, profits. And then the crummy, uh, one of two things you can do with it. So the good, it, this is what's left of the good. I've already sold... Um, 321 of the good, and I have 208 left to sell, uh, but also on that 750, I threw away 21 that were just crummy or uh, scratched, and I have about 200 left. So I took the good, listed on eBay and Amazon at the top prices. I took the middle, sold a bunch of them on eBay and Amazon, and then took some to a local CD store to trade it in for credit. And then the bad's going to be either sold as a bulk lot of 200 on Craigslist, or I'm having a garage sale coming up, so uh, I might put it in there. So with all that work, uh, with all this still to go, I'm at about 2,300 in profit right now. So it was a, uh, you know, it, it's it is ballsy to spend 750 bucks at a garage sale, but if you can turn that into 2,300 in profit and more, because of all these CDs here, I still have some cool ones like these Nokia Edwards CDs. Nokia used to be a guitarist for the Ventures. And they'll sell in the fifty to hundred dollar range, so there's still maybe a good thousand dollars to make here. Uh, so when all the smoke clears, it'll be a nice, uh, nice purchase from a garage sale. You can do the same thing with whole lots of plush or vinyl records or anything you can break down. But you, uh, the best thing is because you can get them cheap as a lot, you can break them down and uh, make a ton, ton more money. So uh, I also wanted to thank everybody for watching Thrift Hunters. We had a great time doing the show. We sure hope to be back for season two. Uh, we will let you know as soon as we know. Um, it was uh, it, it was way more fun than I could have ever imagined. And thanks for everyone who has shared stories with us and, and said they enjoyed it and, and watched for us. Uh, it was great. It was so much fun. But if you want to find out more stuff about us, check out thrifthunters.com or come over to our Facebook, Facebook group, Thrifting with the Boys. And we will uh, we'll give you a hand on how to do stuff uh, for free. So don't, don't, don't go thrifting with the dummies. Be smart. Go thrifting with the boys. Have a good one.